What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the long-awaited playthrough of Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. This is recorded on an actual PSP with an actual copy of the game with actual loading times. So I went ahead and cut out a lot of the loading screens, if not all of them. I'm pretty sure I cut, cut out all of them, but you may see one of them cut here and there. But this is post commentary, so I really, really hope you enjoy this, because this game is pretty good. It's just Underground 2 with a little, little spin for the PlayStation P, PlayStation P. Yeah, well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, PlayStation Portable, but the PSP. I actually owned this game when I was younger, and I played the hell out of it. But coming back to it, I realize of how how many flaws there actually is with the game. But it's Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Uh, in your hands, wherever you go. You don't have to carry carry around a TV and a PlayStation 2 to play it. So, there's that. Um, I skipped this little intro right here because um, it plays um, the doors, and that's copyright, and I can't, can't play that. So I cut out this loading screen right here. So we're jumping right into the game. And as you can see, it just looks like Underground 2. It has a little bit extra stuff. But right here I'm turning off the audio, that's why you won't hear any audio. But now it's time for speeding up shit because I had to create a new character and I had to um, adjust my options. So this is where I'm going to start explaining things of how this playthrough is going to go down. Um, uh, it's pretty similar to most of my Tony Hawk playthroughs where I do a level of video. I'm pretty sure that's what I did for my Underground 2 playthroughs where I just... Um, every video was a new level. And I will be completing these levels 100%, so this level is going to consist of training and all the tutorials, so to say. All the goals that involve are involved in that level, and you'll see that soon enough. But right now I'm just customizing my character, and I sped it up because I didn't, I didn't feel like it was really necessary to see the entire, like, 8 or 9 minutes of that. So, this is, I think this is my, my newest playthrough. No, I think... Well, this is my newest new playthrough, um, where I'm using my new mic. So, I am using my new mic for the last two episodes of Evolution Skateboarding, but that's that's over and done with now. We don't have to think about that game anymore. We're we're back at Tony Hawk. Don't worry. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this playthrough, and a lot of people have been anticipating it apparently. So, I'm happy to serve because this game is not bad. It is Tony Hawk. I'm not playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, so I kind of look forward to this playthrough for once. Um, I'm kind of running out of Tony Hawk games to play that, that are fun, <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm getting this one out of the way, but I, it's bound to happen. I don't see many playthroughs of this game because it's on a PSP. It's, it's not fun to play on the, play on the PSP um, on a bigger screen because it doesn't mirror the images. It only shows one image. So I made a little mistake here with the audio options. I accidentally turned off all of the audio. I didn't think it would do that, but I, I kind of left this little clip in here because it transitions to a nice black screen where I can cut it away. But yeah, there's no audio right here because, like I said, I kind of turned that off. I do turn it back on, don't worry. So I'm um, transitioning to the start of training and the wonderful world of Tony Hawk's Underground. I, I will admit I'm not very good at this this version of the game because it's very difficult to play on the PSP with the, the size of my hands. I don't have big hands, but like it's meant for like maybe a 12 year old, so it's a little difficult. Um, it's nothing like like the 3DS where you know it's kind of easy to work with no matter what size your hands are. But with this, it's it's pretty weird. The PSP I have too kind of has a weird problem with its X button where sometimes I ollie for some reason. Just out of nowhere. I don't know why it does that, but it happens, whatever. So here we are with the tutorials, ollieing, manualing, all that kind of stuff. All fun stuff, anyway. Just getting that right out of the way. I, I think that's the first time I've ever gotten the no comply first try over that taxi cab. I, I, never, I never usually get that. No complies are kind of hard for me. So right here, I was trying to do, um,. I was actually trying to butt slap in this game for some reason. Um, I, I figured it'd be a good time to try it. I think I got it after I did this goal, so that's why it's kind of like, it looks stupid, like I don't know how to kick flip over a kicker, or um, with a kicker, and then I just ollie it. 
like a like a dummy. But and there we go. I kick flipped it. I think I tried it anyway. So just experimenting with the game, trying to get the mechanics down, just showcasing what yeah see, just showcasing what can be done with this game. And it's just Underground 2, a very low budget one I will say. It's um obviously the graphics had to be cut down a lot, and they don't look the best when recording. I was using component cables, so I tried my best to get the best quality, but it's really difficult for a game like this, like not a first party game, like if it was um, the Ratchet and Clank game or the Lost Frontier, the Jack and Daxter game, it looked pretty good because they know what they're doing. This was literally just a PlayStation 2 port um, and just, you know, put together, just like the Project 8 port for PSP. It was just a, a PlayStation 2 port. I don't think there was really anything special about that port, honestly, but if there is, I, I probably will get to it eventually. Um, I do I do consider... I have considered, I should say, I'm playing the PlayStation 2 versions of Proving Ground and Project 8 because... I don't know, there's just something more interesting to those. It's just like, it's versions you don't see people play. You see people play the Xbox and PS3 versions all the time. Just, it, it's lame, you know? I want to be different. I want to be a little bit different. Be able to do quick plays of the 360 versions, but I, I think it's... I think people deserve to see, you know, the bad versions of those games. Not a big fan of them in the first place, but, you know, I can I can deal. I'll, I'll put myself through that kind of struggle. So I had a little bit of trouble here. Um, getting off your board and everything and um, turning around, especially with the camera in this game. The, there's... You have the D-pad and you have the analog stick that's on the PSP. The analog stick is actually not used for the camera, as you might think. It's actually used for focus mode. And I believe you can control the camera if you're completely still. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think you can do it when you're off your board, though. So here I am, throwing tomatoes at, at poor Phil. He's already on the ground, and I'm just throwing tomatoes at him like some kind of bully, I guess. But... I digress. So, I always check in there because I keep thinking that the BAM goal is like really soon, but it's really not. It's it's a little ways in. So, just looking for goals. You know, it, just testing the game out. Here's the introduction to getting off your board and kind of parkouring around. Had a little bit of trouble with this later on, but surprisingly the cavemans were pretty responsive unlike the PlayStation 2 version where you can do the caveman, but it does not count as the trick for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but... Surprisingly, again, I surprised myself by getting that ledge first try. That is very difficult to do sometimes. Um, because you don't have a very good angle, and you don't have very... Um, not a lot of space to run. So, there's that. But... You know, it happens. I just spray painted that because I figured it was, you know, it was necessary. Bladers do not rule. Bladers, bladers suck. Just kidding. It's fine. It's fine if you blade. If you, if you blade the blades, it's cool. If you bay blade, it's it's even cooler. So, I I don't know what the big the big deal is about the anticipation in this game. There are you know exclusive levels to the career mode. And um, I guess exclusive levels overall, you can play them, I think you can play them in classic mode, I, I can't really recall, I've only played story mode recently to uh, refresh my memory, but I will be doing classic mode again, and I will be doing story mode, um, and if there's anything else different in this game, I will surely go over it, because that's kind of the point of me playing a different version of the game. You may think, oh, he's running out of Tony Hawk games to play, well, it's true, I'm, I am, I'm running out of Tony Hawk games to play that are fun. There are plenty of Tony Hawk games out there, Game Boy games, um, Wii games, uh, there's always Shred and Ride, I'll probably make, you know, millions of videos on that because that is the best Tony Hawk game there is. Um, I love using a real plastic heavy board to um, simulate what it feels like to skate in my living room, something like that. You know, it's a really good idea, it's a fantastic idea. Um, completely sarcastic, it was a horrible idea, and I do own it, and I've only played it for like 20 minutes because the game was so unresponsive. Now this is where I had a lot of trouble getting to this freaking ledge. 
I go on for like maybe a minute just doing this. I did nothing different. I got the same running and I and I even like, you know, jumped a little late. That should have been it. I was pressing R to, to hang on, but that didn't happen. Um, spoiler alert, I don't actually get it doing this method. The method they intended you to do. I actually did some, some crazy cool strats here. I figured that was going to work, just doing like a little wall jump up there. But that didn't work. So, nothing really works here. Um, so, <laughs> it, it's really not, there's really nothing else to say about it. It's, it's very hard to get this jump. I, I probably should have like tried riding off of it and then bonusing, but here's what I did. I just, I flung myself over there and I just glitched onto the ladder apparently. So this is where I, I get my payback for those bladers. They, they don't rule. Skaters rule, man. Anarchy. Fucking crazy shit going on over here. So we're almost, we're almost um, done this level. It's only a couple more goals here. So if you really don't know the the mechanics of the game, and this is your first Tony Hawk game, you know, it's not a bad game to play. I definitely recommend either getting the PC, GameCube, Xbox, or PlayStation 2 port. Any port that is not this, because this port does not do the game justice. It's it's a little, little poopy looking. But um, if you don't really know the gist of the remix part, it just it combines American Wasteland levels, just a couple of them, to um to the Underground 2 story mode. So it adds a little bit more, but it's really it's just a couple American Wasteland levels. So they didn't have to port American Wasteland to the PSP apparently, because that game was already out when this version was um, either being made or just released so I think this was their their attempt of porting a well well received game onto a new handheld I don't know why they wouldn't just port like a, um, a pro skater pack like pro skater 1 through 3 maybe even 4 who knows um, but you know whatever I would have done that and this is an interesting thing. I did the I did a, a weird thing that I like to do when I'm playing Thug Pro, where um I do my special and I combine a roll with it so it looks like he's tweaking out. I like doing that. It looks so stupid. He didn't even like roll. He was like with a McTwist you roll anyway and you know. You get me, you get me. It looks stupid, okay? You saw it, everyone saw it. Unless you looked away in case you go back and you'll see it. Uh, here's a tough goal. Sometimes the game freezes, by the way. I don't. That's just because the PSP is loading and shit. So, 3,000 points. Ooh, just barely made it with 3,600 points. Man, really close call. Don't think I would ever be able to get that close again if I tried. Really happy I got that. Really, really happy with that. So, we come to the last goal of the level. Tony Hawk has some wonderful news that he wants us to get special. And then. You flick the analog stick and then boom, you're in focus mode and you go really slow. And then for some reason, I decided to do a McTwist, surprisingly landed it, and then this is where I leave off. I will see you guys in the next video where we take the next level on. Have a wonderful day. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.